So there, there wasn't, it didn't generate a lot of hype, right? It was just announced. And I believe it was announced during some kind of like Xbox conference or something like that, or Microsoft conference. It wasn't, it wasn't like hyped up into like, oh, check out this new con, this really, really cool game is going to be coming out in a couple months, right? So in my opinion, I think that was their mistake. But overall, I really, really enjoyed the game. I, be I believe they beat the game in like two sittings. And yeah, it was really good. And I believe there is new game plus too. But yeah, the, but the crappy thing that came out this week, the news that came out, and this comes to us from Bounding in the Comics, Microsoft guts Bethesda's workforce, shutters Redfall and Hi-Fi Rush Studios in order to focus on our priority games. Your priority game was Red Fail. Was Redfall. That game sucked. It was so awful. People couldn't even play it. But the things that what what's a game that what was Xbox and Microsoft Pro, uh, Poster Child for uh, for Xbox Starfield and that game had a rough launch and it sucked it sucked big dicks fucking like literally literally fucking huge colossal wieners man and the thing is that oh it's a Bethesda game just um just put put in the mods the mods are gonna you know help you with your game. Oh, just play Skyrim, but the mods make the game better. No, your game should be good already. Your game should be good already. It does not, it should not require mods for your fucking game to do good. It's yeah, it's 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 so it's so dumb, right? And the fact that now you got rid of Tango, uh Tango Studios, and Tango Studios was also the people that was behind um Evil Within one and two. And I believe they were working on Evil Within three that and that didn't do anything. Now I understand that Hi-Fi Rush did not make a lot of money. And ultimately, at the end of the day, money talks. And it is what it is. But, man, what the hell, dude? What are you guys doing? Yo, Cerberus with the 10 gifted memberships and Super Base with another, well, sorry, with another 10 gifted membership. What's going on? What are you guys doing? Oh, man. But thank you. Thank you. Holy crap, man. Thank you. Thank you for the freaking support, man. Thank you. Holy crap. And you got, yeah. Jeez, you, you guys are crazy. You guys are freaking crazy. Thank you. Thank you. Holy crap, man. But yeah, um, it's, um, yeah, it, it, it sucks. It, de it definitely sucks for, for the people who are working there. All right, let's go see. Uh, in contributing yet again to the ongoing wave of Western video game industry layoffs, Microsoft has announced both the closure of two Microsoft announced. Microsoft has announced that both the closure of, t of two Microsoft has announced that. <laughs> okay, I, I, okay. I thought I was being a fucking uh, fucking retard, but no, this is written wrong. Okay, as part of a massive restructuring of the Bethesda subsidiary, not only will they be closing respective studios behind Redfall and Hi-Fi Rush, but also undertaking a massive reorganizing of those teams lucky enough to survive the calling. Yeah, and it sucks. This game, this game was really good. I really, really enjoyed it. Man, but, but you, you, you guys, you guys are um. Oh, shit. Sorry. Sorry. I, I, my, my mouse is going crazy. Um, but you guys are going crazy. But thank you guys so much for the, for the support. I really appreciate it. Let's see. Uh, Microsoft's plan to gut Bethesda's workforce were first revealed to the public on the morning of May 7th, courtesy of the official Twitter accounts for the aforementioned Redfall and Hi-Fi Rush teams, Arcane Studios, and Tango Game Works. In their respective posts, the former dev team somberly informed that their fans today, it was announced that our, our is it Arcane? Arcane, uh, okay, I'm, I'm, since this is in Austin, I'm, I'm called Arcane Studios. Arcane Austin will close and, de uh, and development will not continue for Redfall. Redfall fucking sucks, man. The game was unplayable at day one. It, it, you know, it is what it is. Uh, rest and piss, you won't be Miss Rip Bozos. Um, it's, it make, make, make a better game. Make a better game. It sucks, sucks for everyone who worked on that game, but it is what it is. You guys, you guys fucking screwed the pooch. To everyone who has supported the game, Oh, sorry, our work from the uh, awesome studios over the past years. Thank you. The studios continue. Thank you for spending time in our worlds and making them our own. Our parent studio, Arcane Lion. I'm playing Lion? L Lion? Lion. Will continue their focus on immersive experiences where they are hard at work on an upcoming project. Following the, re uh, the assurance that Redfall players who purchased the Hero Pass as part of the premium Bite Back Edition or the premium bite back upgrade will be eligible to receive a value of the upgrade. Arcane Austin concluded their post by confirming that while there will be no further updates, Redfall server will remain online for players to enjoy, which is, I guess, which is fine. But how much more? They're probably going to get like one or two years of support guaranteed. Like from a person who works in a game studios, like if your game is canceled, you probably have like one year of service left at most. 
See, opting out for a, a more brief goodbye than their sister studio, the Shinji Mikami found that Tango Gameworks explained the situation today. It was announced the Tango Gameworks will close. Thank you to everyone that explored the world of Ghostwire Tokyo, which is uh, which is heard is pretty good. Evil Within, which I never beat because my it was a game that I got for my wife. No, no, it's a game that my brother in law got for my wife. Because she likes scary games, but she couldn't get past the first 15 minutes of the game. So we never, we never, we never beat the game. <laughs> Let's see. Um, to close out their short statement, Hi-Fi Rush, along with Tango's previous titles, will remain available and playable everywhere they are today. Which is good. Uh, very sad, though. Very sad. Tango Gameworks does good stuff. Uh, unfortunately for Bethesda, the closure of these two studios were far from the only cost-cutting measures Microsoft had in mind for the Starfield developer. Per all company email announcing their pink slipping plans penned by head of Xbox Game Studios, Matt Booty, uh, and later obtained by IGN. In addition to shuttering the Arkane Studios and Tango Works, uh, Gameworks, Bethesda would also see a number of changes made to operating teams of their own, uh, of their own teams. Oh, sorry, of their other teams. Now, I believe there is a new Elder Scrolls game that's coming out too. Right, I believe there's another. What the heck is going on, yo? Cerberus of another five and super base of another five. You guys are crazy. What's what's happening, yo? Thank you, thank you, man. Holy crap! Thank you, thank you. You guys, oh man, thank you so much for the support. For sorry, for the support. Microsoft is gonna shut down everything. Bethesda, Bethesda has, yeah. I would say so, man. It's not, it's not good. And you got Halo Infinite didn't do well. Man, Microsoft right now is is not looking. Not looking good. And this girl right here with the pink hair, she has big tits too, man. What a god dang shame. Oh, man. But yeah, um, definitely sucks. Definitely sucks. But uh, I forgot about this game. Indiana Jones remains unbroken by Emmerich Voss. Taunts in Indiana Jones in the Great Circle. I, for I completely forgot about this game and the existence of this Indiana Jones game. Oh man, yeah. Oh, uh, see. Oh, here's the thing: they bought uh, Activision Blizzard, right? They bought Activision Blizzard, so they have a bunch of shit. Elder Scrolls Online, Golden Road. Yeah, it's just oh man. And, and as a person who works in the game industry, seeing a lot of these layoffs does not bode well for a lot of people's uh, morality. Is because um, hearings like uh, what I believe Microsoft is like a trillion dollar company. So you have a trillion dollar company that's losing a shit ton of money and even their studios aren't safe from layoffs and uh, job, you know, job cuts and stuff like that. So knowing that it's, um, it's, it's very scary. And that's the reason why a lot of people are nervous and, you know, oh, we want unions and shit and it's, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. But yeah, I've been working long enough in, in games that I, I, I sort of know, know my stuff. But yeah, it is what it is, but it, it definitely does suck for them. Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.